Thanks for watching WCCO, also streaming on CBSN Minnesota. The St. Paul Fire Department is mourning three of its own who died from invisible health dangers plaguing frontline workers. Thomas McDonough, Mike Pater, and Floyd Jones died within days of each other in the last two weeks. As WCCO's Liz Collin found, their lives are a reminder of the mental and physical toll their work takes and the fight to protect fellow firefighters. It has been a difficult time for uh, the fire department and um, uh, the fire community within Minnesota in general. Deputy Chief Roy Macoso knew his three fallen brothers well. Very much a young man. Um, to lose him at 28 years old is, is um, definitely very tragic. Tommy McDonough followed in his father's footsteps to become a firefighter. A young father himself, Tommy always wore a smile. Sadly, he seems to have dealt with his demons in secret. We know being a firefighter in EMT where he was exposed uh, through this job to traumatic events, uh, which ultimately contributed to um, him taking his own life. 53 year old Mike Pater had just been promoted in February when Macoso called to schedule the ceremony for the next day. And he said, uh, unfortunately not. Um, I'm going to be off sick and I would be off sick for a while. Pater never returned to work, losing his battle with leukemia. Studies show firefighters have a greater risk of cancer from the chemicals they breathe in. Floyd Jones beat cancer in recent years after he retired. He was uh, an example to members of the community as well as um, a role model to black firefighters on the job. He worked long enough to see his son join the ranks, but the 59-year-old died unexpectedly in his sleep two weeks ago. When we have members that are struggling, uh, we have options. Fire Captain Brett Reavy is the peer support team coordinator for St. Paul, a group of volunteers who check in on the well-being of their fellow firefighters and train them to cope, repeating a message now that it's okay not to be okay. We need to keep that message out there. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. There are a couple dozen firefighters who volunteer to be part of the peer support group in the department of more than 400. They also connect their colleagues to professional help with clinicians if they need it.